Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you four different ways you can play Minecraft with your friends online on your PC. Now I'm going to start with the easiest step. Let's get right into the tutorial. The way number one to play with your friends in Minecraft and trust me, this might save you a headache or even $10. It's create a world, right? Let's say, or even if you have a world, let's just go ahead and create a new one. Let's go ahead and create this world. And let's say that you have a friend and he's in the same place with you, right? He's in the same house and you want your friend to join and you're like trying to figure this out. How do you make him join? It's quite easy actually. So once you're in the world that you want your friend friends to join right you're going to press escape right you're going to open this menu right here and you're going to click open to land you could change right here allow sheets or not and then change the game mode i just recommend you leave it as it is if you're trying to play a normal survival game and go ahead and start the land world that is going to turn your game into a land world and as you can see down there it says local game hosted on port 59 407, right? Many of you might have tried to have your friends join using Direct Connect and try to find the local game, right? The LAN game, but that doesn't work. What they need to do is use your PC name to join your lobby on Minecraft. And how do you find your PC name? Easy. Go ahead and come to your PC. It's the folder where you should see all your drives, right? Right here. And go ahead and right click that and click on properties. And as you can see right here, the computer name is desktop. It's Cuba. That's my name in the computer. For yours, it might be completely different. And you're going to send that to your friend in order for your friend to join. She or he is going to click on multiplayer there is a chance that if your server is open, they might see it right here as a LAN network, right? But if they don't, they're going to click on direct connection and right here, they're going to type your PC name, right? So in my case, it was desktop, it's Cuba. For you, it might be something similar, but not obviously not the it's Cuba part. It might be a bunch of numbers and name or whatever, right? They're just going to use that to join. If by any reason that is not working, that name by itself is not working, they're going to type two little dots and they're going to put the port number that your server gave you when you launch it, right? Let's say that is 25565, for example, that's what they're going to type and they're going to try to use it to join. And that is one of the ways for your friends to join your server. Now, but what about if your friends are not in your house, right? What if your friends is on the other side of the world or your friend is far away from you? How can we play together for free, right? There's ways to play together for free. Well, first of all, you can find a website to make a server completely free. There's some websites to make a server that they are free. Now, I personally have used them. I do not recommend them. What can I tell you? They work if you're just trying to play like a survival, like very slow and there's going to be laggy connections and then the server won't be on all the time. So what I recommend is that you make your own server. Now that is a more complicated topic that I cannot show you in one video. And that is why I made a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a server on your own computer completely free that your friends could join from any part of the world, right? And that video is coming up in the corner right here. Just go ahead and watch that video on how to make a server on your own computer from your own house with your own settings and everything else. So your friends could join you. Now, the third way that your friends could play with you in your own server, it's by using one of these hosting websites. Now, this this, the only part I don't like about this personally is that they're not free, right? But this is a way to keep in mind. There's multiple websites like Apex Hosting, there's Shockbyte, there's a GG servers. There's multiple platforms to host a server on and they could range from $2 a month, $3, $5, $10, depending on you're making the server, how complicated it is. The good thing about this is that they are online all the time and you don't have to take care about the setting up. They will set up the server for you. If you want to do a modded, they will do a modded server. If you want to do Fabric Forge, if you want to add the new mods, whatever version you want to do, they will take care of that and you're going to have a command where you can control the whole server from the website i'm not going to lie about it it's a good way of having a server for those of you that can't afford it this is one of the ways i always recommend that you make your own server for free but hey if you're not trying to go through the hassle of making your own server you could always pay for one of these i'm going to go ahead and leave a link for these three websites in the description of this video i have only used apex hosting myself i once had a server for a bedrock edition and it was good i mean i was like out there in walmart and i could control my server and like my friends were like hey can you make a day on the server and i would just go on my phone and i use the website and it worked. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a link for each of these websites. I'm not a sponsor by any of them. This is just me giving you my opinion about it. Now, the last way that I have on this video on how to play with your friends is completely free right here is to join a server that already exists, right? It's to join a public servers. There is a ton of different servers. There is faction server, Pixelmon if you want to play Pixelmon, parkour, survival, every type of server, even Skyblock, uh, Bed Wars, any type of server you could imagine, there is servers out there. I'm going to go ahead and link this website on the description so you could join any of of these servers and i'm also going to show you how to join any of them in case you do want to join a server so in order to join any of the servers it's quite simple actually you're just going to look for the one you want and by the way you don't have to use this website you could find your own server when i want to join a server with my friends and we're just looking for like a new public servers i just go on google and i'd be like best survival servers for minecraft 1.18.2 2022 right? and then whatever comes up i start looking and comparing but in case you don't want to go through all of that i'm going to link this website it's going to be the fourth link in the description i believe and you could go ahead and look through the website so how do you join any of the 
this service, right? So let's say that you found Complex Gaming, for example. I'm going to take this one because right now it has 15,000 people online. And you're going to copy this link right here, right? So we're going to go ahead and control C that link right here. And we're going to open Minecraft. So let's say that we already copied the link and we're right here in Minecraft. How do we join the servers? Easy. Click on multiplayer. Go ahead and click add server. And we're going to type whatever name we want, right? I'm going to name this one subscribe right and then go ahead and click server address and just paste that link that i tell you to copy click done and that is going to add the server for you as we can see right here we can go ahead and click play and it's just going to log you in you're going to join the world and you're going to be able to play with your friends in public servers that have a lot of people has a lot of different game modes you could just meet people here and, and play and have fun anyways those are the top four ways to play with friends that i have found for you guys to put on this video this video was meant for java edition of minecraft remember if you want to make a server go ahead and click that link in that video i'm going to show you a step-by-step guide on how to make a server and you're going to learn a lot of things about making servers and how quite simple it is actually it's, it's pretty simple to make a server i hope this tutorial helped you out and as always bye bye